Okay, the aviation college thing. This is all about the, um, you guys that asked me what's the cheapest way to go and what way do you have to go uh, that the airlines prefer. And the answer is they really don't care what your degree's in or how you get the four-year. So what I'm talking about with how you get the four-year, let's start with that. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go to Embry-Riddle or uh, North Dakota or any, you know, any of the, I think it's North Dakota. Maybe it's South Dakota. I know it's a Dakota. Maybe it was Nebraska. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm not familiar with the school, but uh, you know, there's aviation colleges around the U.S. You don't have to go to those colleges to become an airline guy. Uh -huh. Again, like I said, if you want to be an airline guy, yeah, you got to get a four-year, but it doesn't have to be from an aviation college. When you go to interview at an airline, really all that box is looked at, they just looked at it to see if it's checked off because that's how you get into the door. Without being able to check the four-year degree box with any major airline, unless you know someone way, way high up, and even then it's going to be tough, um, that's really all that does. It just makes it so your resume actually is accepted. Without checking the four-year, you see what's going to happen. So do they look at what your uh, degree is? Yeah, I think to some degree. Um, I don't think it puts a whole lot of weight on it unless you've got a, uh, say, a degree in aeronautical engineering. I mean, that would definitely get their attention. But uh, what I really think what's important these days is, is if you can somehow incorporate your degree in a way that if you become furloughed, that you can use that degree and, uh, and apply it towards something. And I would think today that would be computers. Uh, so in terms of what school you have to go to, it's not important. So if you're looking for an economical way to do it, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I'd, uh, you could just live at home with mom and dad for a while and go to the uh, community colleges, get your two-year degree out of that, your associates, and then transfer that to a four-year degree and then finish up there. Uh, I'm starting to see now that some community colleges are actually offering four-year degrees. So that's by far the least expensive way to do it. And again, you just want to be able to check that box. That's the most important thing. You know, then after the associate degree, if you're if you're going to do associates, yeah, you could transfer that to Embry-Riddle. Uh, so you could have that name on your, on your uh, application if you want to. But do I think that that made any difference for me? No. Uh, really. I mean, it was just I checked the box. Uh, they didn't really care where I got my, the degree from. It just I just had to have a degree. You know, so like I said, if you go to do the associates at a, at a community college, and transfer over to a state college, that's fine. You could do your four-year at a state college. Um, even now, they're offering stuff online, a lot of classes online. I look at a lot of stuff on YouTube that was shot at MIT, and I think that stuff's just fascinating. And I'm assuming they might have some sort of degree program. To date, uh, you know, my friends that all have the four years and working for different airlines, it, they're across the board as to what their education was in. So, But the, the most important thing is, yeah, that you have the four years so that's really the key it doesn't matter how you get it but just get it and again what i'm talking about four-year degree that's for the airline job major airline jobs and, and that's not every airline in the world either but it it definitely puts you ahead of the rest of the people or the rest of your pilots that you're competing against do you have to have a four-year degree to be a pilot no um and make money no and uh, I'll shoot a video on that. So anyhow, got a couple of things I got to do here. Talk to you later. See you.